everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. In the previous video, I showed you a shopping haul of all the Ravensburger 500 piece jigsaw puzzles I've acquired to practice for the World Championships in Spain this September. This is part two of the shopping haul, where basically these are just puzzles that will not be used for speed puzzling, just for my enjoyment, most of which have been gifted to me over the last few weeks for birthday, Christmas, well I should say last few months even, because it's been a while. And because I've been so busy doing the display of the 54,000 piece travel around art jigsaw puzzle from Graphica, that's why my big map puzzle is no longer on the wall because that's down at the display as well. I haven't had much time to actually puzzle or do puzzling videos. So that's why you have two shopping hauls back to back. However, I've been collecting so much footage of trying to put that jigsaw puzzle up on a wall. Let me tell you, it hasn't been all that easy. Wendy and I, we, we, we've worked tirelessly to try to get that up on the wall. As of right now of filming this, it's up on the wall and I shouldn't even say anything. Fingers, toes, everything crossed that it stays up on the wall because tomorrow when I go to the venue to have a look, if it's fallen off again, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. And that's probably why in the last shopping haul video with those Robin's Burger puzzles, I, I look a bit of a mess. I'm quite tired. I was quite frustrated and disappointed because the puzzle was oh, not cooperating. But I think, I think we found a solution and oh, it better be up on the wall still tomorrow. And I'm just so excited to have people come in and view it. I've been videotaping, photographing, and yes, there will be a detailed video to come. But for now, and for the love of puzzles, let's just quickly run through these puzzles that I've acquired. I'll just talk about them, who gave them to me, or if I bought them, my ideas for the puzzles, but I won't go into super great detail because all of these will eventually get built on the channel. The first puzzle that we have was gifted to me by Paige and Sven, either my birthday or Christmas. My birthday is very close to Christmas, so I, I can't remember which it was for. This is from La La Land. I believe it's an Australian brand, a new to me brand I've not done on the channel. I can't wait to do this. They did this in collaboration with Peter Alexander, which is like a sleepwear clothing store may also be an Australian brand, to tell you the truth. I know they have them in Australia and stores here in New Zealand, but I've never seen them in North America. But yeah, so this is La La Land's, I don't even know, it's called Posh Pooches Resort. Of course, I love it because of the doggies, because Alex uh, Peter Alexander, their mascot is a dog. The next pile of jigsaw puzzles are all ones that my hubby gifted to me for birthday or Christmas. The first one is for Wood Bess, and this one is in one of their little bags. It does come with a poster of the image. I'll put one up on the screen. It's called Fairy Tale Castle. The reason why I like it, it's a shaped jigsaw puzzle. And I haven't done many of those on the channel. Down below in the description, I'll include my affiliate link. So if you want to get any of their puzzles, go check them out. I also have a discount code. So if you do buy any of their jigsaw puzzles, make sure to use the discount code because who doesn't like saving money? Next, we have this round 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I have to do some investigation because the brand is Flox, F-L-O-X. I believe it's a New Zealand company. I don't think they just specialize in jigsaw puzzles. I think they do other merchandise and they're very New Zealand themed. So I think there's a lot about this company that I want to find out and that we can discuss while we build the jigsaw puzzle, as well as the birds. I should know what these birds are. I think these are the, are these the birds that like to eat, eat the like parts off of cars and stuff? Is this, uh, I'm familiar with a lot of New Zealand birds, but there's so many of them. So. I can't, I can't even tell you the name of this puzzle just yet. Yeah, there's gonna have to be a lot of research done, but I can't wait to dive in because I'm not familiar with the brand and I think it'll be lots of fun. So it's a 1000 piece round jigsaw puzzle. Well, he knew that I liked the Crip jigsaw puzzles and I've been trying to get my hands on the gradient one. Finally got it. I can't wait to do this one. Recently, actually, Jeanette, just did the gradient crypt puzzle. I think it was her first crypt. 
I think she also has the pink. So I've done the pink, the gold, and the silver. I can't wait to do the gradient one because I will do it without the solution key. I'm quietly confident that I'll be able to do it without the solution key, so I'm excited to do this one. It'll be lots of fun to try out. The last two puzzles from Hubby, both are from Graphica, because I wanted to try some of those smaller jigsaw puzzles. And there's a wall that I have over there with some jigsaw puzzles on it, and I think I want to take them down and replenish them. Look how colorful and beautiful this one is. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. I don't know that, oh, it's called Fleur et Papillon, Flowers and Butterflies in English. So beautiful, nice purpley colors. I can't wait. I'm not sure what to discuss during the voiceover. Maybe we could talk about butterflies. Um, I don't recognize any of the specific flowers. I think they're kind of more made up. But yeah, I just want it to something purpley and colorful. And I think this will go over on that wall and replace some of the puzzles that I have there. But what I'm super excited for is this Graphica one right here. Oh my goodness, look at this beauty. 6,000 pieces. Let's put that down. 6,000 pieces. This, I believe, will complement my big antique world map. And it's going to go on the wall over here. This will be so much fun because I'm going to take you through the whole process of gluing it, taping it, taking it to the studio where they do all the framing. And I've already spoken to them and they said, yes, absolutely. You can film the entire process. I can't wait. 6,000 pieces. This one's called Vintage Travel absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to dive in. I'm interested to see with both the Graphica jigsaw puzzles if the pieces, remember I said they feel they're a little bit smaller, almost a little bit shorter, so it'll be interesting to see the final size because technically this has 1,000 pieces more than my antique world map. But look at it! During the voiceover, we can talk about the various vintage instruments. And sitting here on my table is my vintage survey tripod. How fitting. I really can't wait to do this jigsaw puzzle. And I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful up on the wall. The next puzzle I want to show you is actually from Wendy. Wendy was going through her in-law's home and she came across a Where's Wally jigsaw puzzle. Now, right off the bat, so many questions because I know him as Where's Waldo. During the time lapse, things I want to find out is, why does he have different names depending on where in the world the product is made? Why Wally? Why Waldo? Does they have other names? Also, I want to learn about the artist. Who created it? Why? What was their inspiration? Why the specific clothing? I can't wait. I think it'll be a lot of fun to dive into this. Also, I think it's a puzzle within a puzzle because on the back here, you're supposed to find things like a man trying on a jacket that's too big. So somewhere in this crazy busy image, not only are you supposed to find Wally, but you're supposed to find that gentleman trying on a coat that's way too big. Actually, it might be right down there. But I can't wait to do this because I can't wait to find out more about the history of Where's Wally. And I do believe this is probably, this is from 1990. So it's quite a bit older. So it'll be interesting to see if all the pieces are there as well. So thank you to Wendy. She found this in her in-law's house and gave it to me. A bit of a crazy story. Dunedin is a pretty good sized town, but is also quite small. And we had gone to our lawyer's office to update our wills. And we were chatting and of course, jigsaw puzzles came up. The next time we went in and we had to sign the paperwork, I was gifted this jigsaw puzzle right here. It's unopened. It's from, it's a bit older, when 1996. 1996 unopened jigsaw puzzle. I don't even know the brand. It just is called Pieces of New Zealand. It's a beautiful New Zealand scenery. And what it was is my lawyer's mother, so my lawyer's name is Lenore, and her mother, I hope I say her name correctly, Monine? Monine, I believe is how it said, 86 years old, found this in her home, unopened, she hadn't done it, and gave it to her to give to me. How lovely is that? And there's lots of information on the back, 
The title of this one is called Alpine Summer. I can't wait. I want to talk about the mountain range, if I can figure out what mountains are depicted, as well as lupins, the plants that are shown right here. So yeah, that was so sweet of her. Thank you so much, Monine, for gifting me this jigsaw puzzle, as well as to Lenore for bringing it in. So I got this from my lawyer's mother. Some of the next puzzles were gifted to me from you all. Yes, so first, Peggy, who watches me from Germany. Peggy, just amazing. Thank you so much. She remembers all my struggles that I had with this 3D jigsaw puzzle. She sent me this lovely note, and she said... Here's a 3D jigsaw puzzle she found at a, I think like a flea market or something. She knows it's of butterflies and she found an image of the puzzle and sent it to me. Um, she wanted to see what I thought of it and whether or not it would work better than this 3D jigsaw puzzle that did not stick together. So thank you so much, Peggy, for sending this to me. It kind of feels it'll be in the same spirit as the Graphica butterfly puzzle. But yeah, I can't wait to try to see if the pieces lay flat or if it'll just be frustrating. I'll try to find out the brand name and everything. She sent me a few photos, so hopefully there'll be more information. On top of sending me this 3D butterfly jigsaw puzzle, she also sent me my first um, it's not a micro jigsaw puzzle, but it's a mini jigsaw puzzle. I actually took it with me. It's down at the big display, so I don't have it on hand. I'll put up some photos. I believe it was from Lynn Puzzle that you can order on Amazon. And it came in like a little tube with little tweezers. How cute is that? And it's double-sided. So thank you so much, Wendy. That is so sweet and wonderful of you to send me these jigsaw puzzles. I just hope that it's... Uh, well, that it doesn't cause me issues like this crazy one did. By the way, just an update for those of you who followed me for a while, I never ever heard back from this company at all. I tried reaching out to them, but no, silence, complete silence. Samantha is another friend and viewer here in New Zealand. She sent me a lovely note as well. And I'm so excited about this because I don't know much. She sent me this jigsaw puzzle from the Magic Puzzle Company. Now, I've purposely tried to not find out any information about this jigsaw puzzle. I believe it's a puzzle within a puzzle. And probably when I do the video, I'll have to say spoilers at the beginning. I don't know. I think you don't have a full image of the puzzle. I think you're supposed to find stuff in the puzzle. Maybe, I really don't know, but I know a lot of people really love these puzzles. I think they released three different images. This one's called The Happy Isles. But I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so I really haven't looked up all that much. Have you done any of the Magic um, Puzzle Company puzzles? This one's a thousand pieces. I really don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be lots of fun. I think it's, like I said, a puzzle within a puzzle. And I'll try to get this one done sooner rather than later. That was so sweet of her to send this to me. On top of that, look at these two right here. She had one and someone gifted her one. So she ended up with two of these Cavallini & Co. vintage puzzles of New Zealand. She sent me these because she thought it would be so much fun to see Wendy and me speed race these against one another. And I do think this is a better image and I think Wendy will enjoy it as well. Also, during the time lapse, I can talk about the different images. It looks like it's a bunch of different posters from all different places in New Zealand. So how nice was that of Samantha for sending me these puzzles? So Wendy and I can speed run them and I can have my first taste of that magic puzzle company. And thanks again for the note. I really appreciate it. The last three puzzles are ones that I bought for myself because I really wanted to do. This first one will be a very interesting video. It's from a company called Unreal Puzzles here in New Zealand. Might be a little bit controversial because the art is AI generated art. This was part of a competition. I actually submitted the prompt that they gave to the AI generator to produce the art. And it was a really cool competition. And I learned a lot about if you give them short prompts versus long prompts. I specifically gave it a long, very complicated prompt. But I also reached out to the company and I asked them a bunch of questions. So I'll discuss that during the voiceover when I build this jigsaw puzzle. It's smaller, only 285 pieces. 
I just want to say before anyone, you know, starts complaining, I am an avid supporter of original art. Besides the jigsaw puzzles, we have tons of original art on our walls. And so let's wait to discuss this when the puzzle comes. I'm going to actually probably do this probably one of the in the next few weeks and get it done because it's a smaller one. I can get it done pretty quickly while I'm busy with my big jigsaw puzzle display. But yeah, this will be interesting, very interesting. I'm so excited to dive into this jigsaw puzzle. The artist, Kevin Griffiths, is from the Mouth and Foot Painting Artist Group. He painted this, and I don't remember exactly if it was with his mouth or his feet, so you'll have to come back and watch the video, but basically it's a group of artists that either have lost the use of their arms or don't have arms, and they use their mouth or feet to create their artwork. Look at this. This is amazing. I love it. It's so beautiful. There was a news article about it, and when I read it, I thought, this is just splendid. And when I realized they converted some of the art into jigsaw puzzles, well, I had to buy one. So I can't wait to learn more about the artist. I can't wait to learn more about his painting and his works and the other artists in the group. Just lovely. So this one I bought for myself. Absolutely love it. And the final jigsaw puzzle that I bought for myself because I really wanted it is that it's a Clementoni color boom. Now, do you remember I used to keep saying color bloom? I actually prefer color bloom to color boom. But anyway, yes, I finally found this one. It's the thousand piece. It's their collage. I'm not sure what this one is called. Oh, it's actually called collage. I can't wait to do this color gradient with a bunch of little mosaic images. I couldn't leave it on the shelf. I only have one other color boom puzzle so far, but I do want to get the entire collection. And when I saw this one, I had to grab it. They're so hard to come by here in New Zealand. Wouldn't this be great as a Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers um, challenge puzzle? What do you think, huh? What do you think? Is it too much? We do want to do a color gradient one. We do want to do a thousand piece one. We want to try to diversify and do different types of jigsaw puzzles, not just your standard 500 piece puzzle. So I'm very excited that I was able to pick this up from Clementoni, part of their Color Boom series. Now, I do have one more jigsaw puzzle sitting right over there off camera but I can't show you because it actually is the jigsaw puzzle we will be using for the next battle of the YouTube puzzlers. Stay tuned around mid May. We will release all the details. You will find out what the puzzle is so you can go and try to get your hands on one and join along in the fun. And I can't wait to reveal everything for the details of the next battle of the YouTube puzzlers because we have a guest puzzler joining us and we're changing the format a bit to make it flow a lot better. So details will come mid-May, stay tuned for that. But yeah, my puzzle's sitting right over there, but sorry, I can't show it to you just yet. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you don't mind that it's two shopping hauls back to back. Trust me, I've been working really hard at that big Graphica display, and that video will be hopefully coming very soon. Everyone, fingers crossed, the puzzle will stay up on the wall when I get there tomorrow. And that means we're good. We're good to go because it looked amazing. It was, it was absolutely beautiful. Okay, for the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!